everyone today we are going to do the 24 hours reading challenge this idea was given to me by my friend who runs a study and productivity page on instagram you can find her using this uh, username in this video we are going to be reading for 24 hours but not in a single go we are going to be reading in parts because life we have work to do and some other commitments as well so we are going to do this in parts hopefully within the next two or three days we are going to cover this entire challenge completely this was the first rule of the challenge which is to read for 24 hours the second rule is that i am going to be reading one coding book i will be talking about the exact books that i'm reading a little bit later on and the third rule is that we are going to be reading one same book which is this book by Frida McFadden. So without wasting any more time let's get to reading. that we are going to start reading is The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. Shana is going to be reading this physical book while I'm going to be reading on my Kindle. I'm going to be reading all of my books on here because I prefer Kindle over physical books because I don't know where to keep the physical books once you've read them. The second book that I'm going to be reading is The Phoenix Project. So this is a novel about IT, DevOps and helping your business win. It's in the form of a novel but it actually teaches you a lot of DevOps concepts. And the third book that I'm going to be reading is Normal People by Sally Rooney. I actually don't know much about this book except the fact that it's very popular. I've heard about it a lot online. I'm going to try a sample of this book. If I like it, then I'm going to buy the full version. The last book that I'm going to read is Days at the Morasaki Bookshop. So we are going to start reading The Housemaid's Secret first. We are going to be buddy reading this book. I'm going to explain what buddy reading is. So it just means that reading the same book together at the same time. And then you can discuss how you feel about the book as you go. Let's begin. So today is a brand new day. It's already 5 p.m. right now. We are done with the rest of our work, our chores. We are done with our gym and lunch as well. So we are going to resume our reading challenge from today onwards. Last night, I was only able to clock in about three hours and I'm halfway through the first book. She slept a little bit earlier than <laughs> me. So I think you clocked in about two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours. So today our plan is to read how much? The entire book. We have the to finish the book today, no matter yeah, how we'll long it is. Today, but how many hours are we planning so to clock in? Five, right? So our goal is six hours. Our stretch goal is eight hours for today. But we want to finish this challenge by tomorrow for sure yes of course yes. so right now we are going to head to a cafe where we will resume our reading so we'll see you guys there the challenge in fact i have already started book number two as well which is the phoenix project shani has also finished reading her first book which was the housemaid's secret the two of us liked the book it wasn't the best thriller book out there but it was still quite nice parts of it were very 
like unrealistic so that's why it was not a five star read but still quite good now i've moved on to something less exciting which is the phoenix project i am already like 30 40 minutes into the book so far they've just laid down the basic plot of the book i don't know what to expect exactly i haven't really learned anything about devops so far into the book but hoping to learn about new things which are also hopefully beginner friendly I'll let you know what's going on as I progress through a little bit more. I'll probably see you guys or talk to you guys tomorrow now. I'm just going to wind down, hit the bed and read for the rest of the hours. Maybe two or three more hours before I finally get to sleep. So I'll talk to you tomorrow about what's happening in the Phoenix project. yesterday we almost hit our goal i think we clocked in about six hours we couldn't touch our stretch goal because we started watching my favorite k-drama weightlifting fairy kimbokchu last night if we did not watch it we probably would have clocked in an hour extra but after i woke up today i read a little bit more so i've already clocked in two more hours and i think about 13 hours more to go hopefully by the end of today we'll be down to just six more hours I didn't expect that it's going to take us four days just to complete this 24 hours reading challenge. But what can we do? Life gets in the way. And also, I want to tell you a little bit about the book that I've been reading so far, The Phoenix Project. I am about 35% done with the book. I expected it to be a lot more boring, but it's not that boring. But it's also not exciting. My opinions about the book so far is that now I understand what DevOps is so much better than before. Earlier it was just that there is some role in the tech world called DevOps. DevOps people do something, I didn't know exactly what, but now it's making a lot more sense. reading and it feels impossible to finish this challenge i still have about 12 more hours to go i have 14 and this day is also almost over almost what it's 11 51 <laughs> day is over and tomorrow will mark like the fourth day of the challenge for us but we started the challenge at night only yeah yeah we started at 12 p.m yeah plus we started on a weekday yeah, I stopped reading the Phoenix project. I read about 40%. I was in the mood to read something else. So I picked up Normal People by Sally Rooney. On the first page of the book, it had very strong reviews about the book. But I'm not feeling the same way while I'm reading it. I've covered 25% of Normal People as well. But I'm just not feeling it as intensely as the other people are like yeah, talking about stuff. I'm still hopeful that something interesting is going to happen. The intense uh, love story, the intense part is going to come, but let's see. <laughs> Yesterday we did not film anything because we wanted to make as much progress as possible so we just read and read. Today we finally completed the challenge, it took us 5 days which is embarrassing but not embarrassing because I mean, we had work to do, we had life, we had yeah. house chores and everything, we had to go to the gym, we had to cook food and everything. So it makes sense it took us 5 days but finally we are glad we have finally finished the reading challenge. To celebrate the fact that we have finally completed the challenge. We went out to have some really nice food. I will tell you about all of the books that I read. The initial list that I shared with you and the books that I ended up reading are a little bit different from each other. So here's a rundown of all the books that I read. The first one was The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. It is a fiction book and it is a crime thriller. I've read a couple of books by the same author before. I like the book. The ending was definitely not something that I predicted already. However, a few things in the plot did not make a lot of sense it almost felt like I was watching a soap opera on the television. It felt so out of touch and completely unrealistic. So that's why it was a 4 out of 5 stars for me. 
The next book that I read was The Phoenix Project. It is a long book and I read about 54% of the book and halfway through the book I realized that what I was expecting the book to be it is a little bit different from that. The book says that it's a novel about IT DevOps and helping your business win. So I went into the book thinking that it is going to be more about DevOps engineering and I'm going to learn a lot more things about DevOps from the engineering perspective but it turned out it is more from the manager's perspective so I did not complete this book because I did not see myself going into a DevOps role specifically in a manager position if you feel that this is something that you want to do in your own career then I would completely suggest that this book is for you. If you're not a tech person, this is going to be very boring. Otherwise, it was still a fun read. The book discusses concepts like bottlenecks and using your resources, human resources properly, how to make sure that the team has maximum productivity, how to make sure that different teams know what the other teams are working on and how to sync each other's work together, how to make sure if something bad happens, how do you go about solving those major issues that happen in these big corporations? I personally have not worked in such big corporations. It sounded very fascinating to me to understand how big teams work. And my goal in the future is not really to work in such a big team in teams of like hundreds, 200 people. So that is why I decided that this book is not for me. After that, the next book that I started reading was Normal People by Sally Rooney. Again, I did not like this book at all. I don't think that this book is for me again. I just don't relate to the characters. I don't relate to their struggles. I don't relate to the decisions that they made in the book. Throughout this book, I was questioning each and every action, each and every decision made by the characters and tried to understand why and what they were doing, whatever they were doing. I just did not like it at all. I made it to 42% and I was super frustrated. I decided not to read it again. Then the next book that I picked up was Days at the Mori Saki Bookshop. It was a short read. I think it was just three to four hours. I finished it very quickly. I picked a shorter book because the last two books that I had read, I did not complete them. It's very disheartening to make progress in a book and not completing it. So that's why the next book that I read was a shorter book. I like that book. I related a little bit to that book as well. So this was again like a four out of five star for me. After completing this book, I decided to pick another coding book, which is called Seven Languages in Seven Weeks. This book covers seven languages and how you can not really learn these languages, but it gives you not a surface level introduction of these seven languages, but a deeper dive on these languages, but not an exhaustive tutorial on these languages. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. The point of this book is to introduce you to these different languages, to these different typing systems, different programming paradigms, and these different features and syntax that exist in different programming languages, and why these programming languages are designed as such. So this will definitely help you understand programming on a deeper level as compared to just learning the syntax of different languages. I decided to not read this book in one go because you're supposed to learn these languages in seven weeks. After reading the first chapter, I realized that the next chapter was for day two and it had a couple of exercises. I want to do a separate video on this book altogether where I properly do each chapter for a week and then share my thoughts or share whatever I'm learning along the way. Or what I'm planning to do is to do these live coding exercises not really live but recording myself doing these exercises and then share these with you guys so I decided to stop this book after reading the first chapter the first chapter was about the Ruby programming language I have worked with Ruby before but I would say that my knowledge with Ruby is something which is very superficial I know how to make things work in Ruby but I don't understand Ruby the same way I can say that I understand JavaScript. So that's why I'm looking forward to this book to understand Ruby a little bit more. And the other programming languages in this book, I have never even written a single Hello World program in those languages. So I'm very excited to finish this book. Lastly, the book that I'm currently reading is Daisy Jones and the Six. It's again a fiction book. Right now, I don't have too many opinions. I'm looking forward to finishing this book. It is interesting. It tells you behind the scenes of the lives of 
people that are rock stars or musicians i've covered only 29% of this book so far it's looking good i am probably going to complete this book so that's it these are all of the books that i read or tried to read in this 24 hours reading challenge it was an interesting challenge but it was a very challenging challenge as well so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one